It's a light Z. They got yeah. the when you get Christine. into the five one. ones. Start at your main pulley. That's one, two, two. and then back, back to the pulley back here. Three to one, four to one. The more heavier, oh, heavier, heavier you for the more, more you get loops. <laughs> but, but the fourteen dollars at Walmart. It takes, it takes to longer to haul them, but mm -hmm. it's okay. a little easier. All right, so you pretty much. Know what the blade right. is yeah. or what the hull is going to be then. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, we're not but, doing Since that. I'm walking up. So, is that what you used when you pulled the litter up through the <laughs> yeah. yep. and the, on the tripod? Same thing. Okay. Yeah. Same exact um, equipment, same setup. So, what are they, where are you at, Hello. Brian? What are you doing? What do they have you doing? God, I'm idea. Because you're mining the Pressix. Okay. John's doing safety. I'm edge. The light. The light. Okay. Rick's going over. So we can put okay. you on the main. I need a safety check. So Brian, you can come over here sure. and help on the main. If you want to, you want to mine this here. So basically, you check it on my beater, make on this. sure I got nothing dangling. And twist it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Harness. Make sure I got nothing dangling. So this here is breaking it. Make sure his beaners no, are locked. I mean, I just off I just off I just off off. Off. <laughs> <laughs> so you look up, look up, turn, oh, counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise lets it go. If you want to stop, let it go. Just hold the. Oh, if you have to lock it off, I'm like, you lose more gloves. gloves. You can lock it off just like that. That's locked off, can't go anywhere. And you can also I still lock on the other here. glove have the water, the whistles. <laughs> oh, my glove from years ago. Yeah, I still got it on the other glove. And then, so, and then he's locked in there. You can adjust his send, the tension that he's got on it, just by turning this. The, sl the lower, less you turn it, the more tension he's got. Easier, you, more you turn it, the easier it goes for him. Yikes. I haven't dropped anybody today, so. And then you today. want to stop, Brian? Just leave. Let go. the handle go. Just yeah, let go. And if they're locking me, locking that out. And you're gonna yell if you. Yeah, need. I told him. And if if he has to, when he gets down there and he has to work or do do something down there, then that's when you bring it up. Yeah. And lock it off. So. And then he can't go anywhere. Even if you like, if he's going a little too fast, you know, like when you stop it, he's gonna stop, okay? But if you, even if you don't lock it. Even if you just stop it right, and then can. like bring it up like that, hold it yeah. like that, it's going to stop. Yeah, you can It'll just hold it here. You don't have to lock it. But if he's working down there, if he's with the patient, yeah, lock you, know, it. Yeah. you can lock it back. Lock it, and tie lock me it back off. Same thing with Belay. Belay gets <laughs> tied off also. Mm -hmm. One right. of the biggest things when you're working with this so stuff is sure don't step on the ropes. Yep. It's always up to you, like, I so, um, <laughs> oh. or over the ropes. I always like my don't, yeah, don't don't in. So my where he's at right now uh, is considered a kill zone. Safety, John. So you're still going to see. Because he's the inside he's your inside two ropes, ropes right there. Oh. So that's the kill zone. And if this rope is here, this is the same thing. Definitely. This would be the kill zone right here. Well, wherever these ropes, if one rope snaps or a pulley Man. lets go, where is everything going to go to? Right to the center. So from this rope to where you are, you're technically kill zone right yep. now. So you could turn that rope and put it right behind the tree yeah. there. I'm giving any wrong information, let me know so I can correct my Oh, no, you're, you're so, that's so far so good. That's why I was just like, bye. Scott just took over this. Okay, just think about it. Scott just smiled. What happens if... What is this rope here? Is that just so that no one so that's goes beyond? Wire. That's no one. So the safety guys make sure that no one that is not harnessed or tied in goes, goes beyond, beyond that rope. Okay. If you go beyond that, you need to tie in. So anybody on the other side has a Anybody on this side is now my victim. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Edge ready? Edge ready. They should be. Main ready? Main ready. Way ready. Yeah. Uh, yes. Way ready. Way ready. <laughs> so, uh, I got to have... Yeah, the other way. You got to uh, loosen the process. Remember what we said about holding the process? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Well, 
Take your hand. Take your hand like this. So he pulls and just kind of like yeah, they're not going. Yeah, yeah, they're locked. Yeah. Okay. You step on it. You're, you're well, like you might have to yeah, use two hands. Do it from a different way. Okay. Yeah, step on it. You decide, but I don't want your hands to open that hole. Don't give them, don't give them any more because you don't want to get ahead of. Okay, of that makes sense. If he falls, say this mean note, and there's a lot of slap that's on there. That's how far he's going. He's gonna, that's how far he's okay. going. Okay. okay. So if you try and keep the same feet the same, I'm just a little bit lighter. About four feet before. Okay. I get something crushed. Okay. And your back will definitely. Yeah, my back will definitely feel. I want it. I want to control this fillet line more okay. than you do. You want to control these. Okay. You, yeah, okay. you're just holding the plastic here. A little faster. So let, okay. the, let me have this. Okay. There you go. You just hold it back with your hand. Okay. I have to work this until I get to the edge. And if, Rick, if you wanted any to go a little bit easier, just let him know. All right, I'll yell to my edge. Another thing, stop, hold. So, I think back. I know what you're going to say. So. There's a couple different ways of protecting this rope from being tore up. We could do, Gawanda would have a strap and a double pulley right here. To keep it up off the to ground. To keep it off the ground, or edge protection. But right here is going to be about 12 foot of edge protection. Yeah. So, in the count, in your bags that you brought, is edge protection in the bag. <coughs> About 20 feet of it. Uh, does this one not have it? Oh, this is. The blaze over there. Um, is there in the back um, part? Is there um, right there? Yep. Matt. But as you said, how much you edge protection you're gonna have put out? It's. I mean, it's not a. Versus putting a pulley out. You can put a pulley up as put well. Up. So you guys decide what you want to do, sir. We have no more straps. Do we? Oh, we do. do. Okay, double pulley by chance. Two pulleys. There is a double pulley. Okay, we need that. Double pulley. Double pulley. Double pulley. Double pulley. That long enough. That's all you need. So we'll pull this strap and a beer, right? No, I just want beer. I got you. You guys know what they're doing. Put that over there. Or if we had like a piece of webbing, like I have in my truck, you can wrap that around the tree and use that as an anchor too. Is that long enough or you need a prusik on there? 